Welcome to Liesl's Artistic Studio. I'm really glad you're here to join me today and I hope you'll have some fun because I'm gonna teach you how to paint the easiest flowers ever using watercolor brush pens. This is one of my absolute favorite things to do with these brush pens and I think you'll really enjoy it. So let's get started and don't forget to subscribe. So for our supplies, we need watercolor paper and watercolor brush pens. I am using the Chromatech brand. And we also need an aqua or water brush. The first step to making these super easy flowers is to paint five dots in a circle using a brush pen. I've found that medium to dark colors usually work the best. Then take your aqua brush, make sure the tip is wet, and activate the paint with the tip. Then all you have to do is start spreading the paint back and forth to form a petal. And do this to all five dots, trying to make each petal about the same size as the last. And that is all there is to it. Now you can of course make different sized flowers and usually the smaller the flower, the smaller your dots will be at the beginning with the exception of when using lighter colors. Lighter colors will need bigger dots because they need more paint for them to show up good. Now you can of course make different types or shapes of petals on your flowers. So try out a few different ways so that you can find the way that you like the best. I'll show you a few ideas. The first is to have a squared off or flat end to your petal, so it's sort of a triangular shape. Another idea is to simply round off the ends and make them look more circular. And lastly, you could have your ends be a little more rough, more uneven or asymmetrical. This, in my opinion, makes the flowers look a little more realistic and is probably my favorite way to do them. Now that you have the basic flower down, you can leave them just like this, or you can add things to them, like stems and leaves. To make leaves, you can just use a single brush stroke using a watercolor brush pen, or you can make some using a similar method to the petals by using two dots of color, one for the tip of the leaf and one for the base. Then use your water brush, activate the paint, and shape out your leaf. For more tips on how to make brush strokes or leaves using your brush pens, you can click on the video at the end of this tutorial to learn how. For one last finishing touch, sometimes I like to add some black dots to the center of my flowers, if that's the look I'm going for. But you're the artist here and it's up to you to decide. Now I'll show you one other super easy flower that sometimes I like to add to my paintings. Start by drawing the stem. Then, using your brush pens, make a mark on the top of the stem and then down both sides, making them smaller at the bottom.
Now that you know the secret on how to create easy and beautiful flowers, you can start creating your own designs and artwork right now. Something really fun to do is make your own do-it-yourself cards and give them away to people. Keep watching and I'll show you how. First, to make your own cards, you need watercolor paper. This is a half sheet and then it is folded in half so that I can paint on the outside and write on the inside. Now you can choose any colors you want. I've picked purples and pinks for the flowers with green for the stems and leaves and black for the center of the flowers. I will start with the stems first, then I'll paint the flowers, I'll add leaves and black to the centers of the flowers, and then for my finishing touch, I'll paint a border around the edge of the card. You'll notice I've already drawn the border with pencil so that it will be straight and exactly where I want it. Now I will make a card that is on a quarter piece of watercolor paper. I will be using a maroon color for the flowers, a light green for the leaves, and a dark green for the border. Now you'll notice that I've already penciled in my border. I'm going to paint only on the outside of the border, and then I can write in the center of the card or on the back of the card. So first I'm going to draw my border using a ruler and my dark green color.
Thanks for joining me today. Check out my other videos and please consider subscribing to my channel so I can continue to help you discover your artistic side.